Hey y'all. Okay. So it's Tuesday. This is week four in May. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what I got at store number one for dollar day. So let's get started. First thing in no particular order was this hat. Now, let me see if I can, yeah, that's as far out as I can go. Now you're probably wondering why would I get a hat like this? Well, for one, my mom picked this up um, one of these hats last week. I actually had it in my cart and she saw it and took it. <laughs> so I actually don't really like wearing hats. Um, I don't like, yeah, I just don't like wearing hats, but um, I don't mind wearing this type of hat. I can't remember what you call it. Um, I, I like the fact that it's not going to flatten my hair. So it's kind of the reason why I got it. Um, it's adjustable. It's got a very wide brim. I kind of need this um, because that time that I went with my sister to go watch my nephew play, uh, play soccer in a game, I didn't have a hat, but I did have my sunglasses and it was pretty annoying that I didn't have a hat because um, the, the glare of the sun was just still really bad. So I just wanted to want, have one of these on hand for something like that. So I got that. Um, Oh, actually, this is, yeah, I'm going to put this one aside because that's from the other store. I just happened to throw it in the same bag. Okay, so more food items. I found this. This is a chocolate chip pancake mix, and it is zero sugar. So um, I typically don't eat um, pancakes because, um, one, when growing up, our dad used to make pancakes, well, would still do it, but he would make them too thick and they would be, how do I say this? Um, he would put too much fruit in them, like blueberries and stuff. And consequently it would not be cooked all the way. And so they were mushy. I just kind of learned to hate pancakes because of that. And so if I ever went out to eat breakfast, I never ordered pancakes. I don't know. It just, I just wouldn't, but I'm trying to get back into that. Cause I, I mean, I want, I, you know, I like pancakes. I just don't like his pancakes. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. And it's funny because when I saw that, I also saw this. So this is a flapjack and waffle mix. Now this one is protein packed. It's also chocolate chip. It's got 13 grams of protein. So, um, you know, this would be good for on those days, I guess, when, um, when I work out, if I do work out in the morning, you know, I'll go ahead and, um, make some pancakes or actually I'd want to do waffles instead. So let's see. I didn't look to see how much sugar. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's kind of high. Um, I will probably just eat this maybe once in a while, but I just wanted to go ahead and try it. At least it's whole grains. So when I got that, it was weird because they had these two different types of pancake mixes. They also had this, which was um, zero sugar stevia syrup. It's butter flavored. So I'm curious um, to see how that would taste. So, all right. I got another pack of these um, uh, Taylor Swift stickers. And as I've said before, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have people that are not subscribed to my channel tune in on this video. I'm not like a Swifty. I do enjoy your music, but I'm not a Swifty. But um, I may sell these or give them to my nieces. So that whole pack was a dollar. Found this. This was opened. Now, I don't mind that it's missing the paintbrush and that it, this thing looks like it's broken. Because I've already got two of these. Um, watercolor sets and I just need just the paints. So it looks like I'm missing probably two, but that's okay. It looks like it could be the white. I think these always include a white maybe. So, um, but I don't have these colors and I am trying to get into watercoloring. So I was excited to find that. Now I, I found these. Um, these do not have a needle. Let me make sure. So these are dispensers. It says oral dispenser. It's kind of funny. Um, 10 milliliter or 10 cc's. Now, 
I was thinking of using this for the um, fountain pen inks if I need to put some in the con like I don't have a converter for one of my pens so I wanted to you know insert some of the ink in one of the empty um, I don't even know what you want to call them tubes so I, th I figured I could just use these so I think that will fit it so that's the reason why I got it. I mean, I didn't need like four of them, but you know, they're a dollar. So it's okay. Especially if it's like a dark color, like blue or something, then, you know, I won't have to worry because I have enough to, um, to use for the other colors. I won't have to like, cause I know it's going to stain in other words. All right. So I found this, I was looking for the bag because my dear, dearest friend, Clarissa, Karamia said that she wanted um, a bag, like the one that I got for my um, niece who left for the Philippines, because um, she's the Swifty fan, my niece is. But I found this instead, this pouch. I'm pretty sure I'll still be able to come across the bag if they're still getting this. But it's interesting because look at that, it's already got folklore. Um, well, no, 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 wait a minute. No, that's not the name of the, uh, the new album. Um, that's actually the was that the previous album, I think? Well, anyways, um, yeah, I saw this. I knew what it was when I saw it as far as like the books. So I went ahead and grabbed it. Um, it's a pretty sizable pouch and it's on both sides, but I'll still try to look out for the bag. So <clears throat> don't worry, Clarissa, I'll find it. <laughs> the tote, unless you want this, you can have it. Just let me know. So we got that. Uh, I got this makeup brush because I don't have one and I actually need it for the paint brushes when I'm cleaning them. Um, I thought I had one, but I guess I don't, but this is not bad. It will stick to the counter, but you know, I'll just hold it like this and then just scrub the brushes on it. It had it also in gray, but uh, pink is fine because then it's easier for me to find it among my stash that there um that one's from the other store I had two bags for each one for each store and um the other bag is really heavy as you will see eventually so this is the only book that I picked up at store number one it's a uh, yes it was one dollar it's an old Betty Crocker cookbook this is from 1981 so a lot of junk journalers like to use these type of books and I couldn't pass it up because, Hey, it's a Betty Crocker book. So this was already torn out, Ooh. <laughs> but they're really interesting. I'm going to go look through some of these um, recipes and see if there's anything that's a, uh, you know, good enough to try to make. So we got that. Put that there. Let me go and grab bag number two for the other store. Hold on here. I just got to move some of this stuff to the uh, that's on the floor next to me. All right. So here is bag number two, my Target bag. No, I did not go to Target. All right, so this is these items are from store number two for Dollar Day. So let me see. Did I get this over there? Yeah, I did. Okay, sometimes I'm like, wait a minute. So more of these, um, whoops, what was that? Oh, more of these cases. So for my watch, sorry, something fell. So these are the 44... Milli, um, millimeter uh, width or whatever you, circumference. Um, it says it's for watch six, but I have watch five and it'll still work. And this one has even more colors than the ones that I've picked up in the, you know, previously. I like that it has like this violet one. And what's interesting is that they have the cover already put on there. They're um, kind of rubber, which is good because the other set that I have are not rubber. They're kind of like a plastic, which is not good because uh, the cover that I had on my watch broke. I think these will work. It should. 
I hope it does. Damn it. Now that I'm looking at it, even though it's the same size, hopefully this, the spacing for the, um, the buttons here, I don't know if you can see that, are the same. I really hope so. Because I don't plan on upgrading until probably, let's see, this is the five. Last year was the six because I bought this last year, but I got it right before the six was released because it was on sale. I think the seven is probably coming out this summer. Yeah, I probably won't upgrade until the eight. So next summer. So still I'll be able to get a year, another year out of my watch. And then I don't know what we'll see what I'll do with it. So I got this. This was kind of interesting. It's a paper money collection box. Um, I tried to see if there were any more like this because I really wanted it for the box because the box is like the typical size for like the, let me see if I can grab something here. Yeah, like this that I put my um, ephemera in, but it's a little bit thicker. This right here, I got this box from Dollar Tree. This was at the, in the first year of the pandemic, they were selling them um, to put your paper masks in, right? And I went crazy looking for these. Um, I probably was able to get about maybe 30 of them because nobody else was buying them. But plus, as soon as I saw them at the store, I would like take the entire stock <laughs> And then after that, they disappeared because I had seen this on Amazon, not Amazon, sorry, Instagram. Somebody had posted about it, but not so much for, in, for storing ephemera, but just, you know, because of the fact that you can store your mask in them. But um, yeah, and at the time, of course, that was when Dollar Tree was still $1. So this right here, like I said, this is for you to be able to, I guess, store the, um, the bills, money bills. I don't want to say dollar because nobody, not everybody has dollar bills, but, you know, like paper money from every country that you would visit. Um, but I could probably still use this, uh, I guess, for the ephemera, you know, but there is like a ton of these sleeves in here, probably like a hundred because it's pretty thick. So for now, I'm just going to keep them in there until I can find another box to put them in. But um, yeah, not bad. One dollar. Let me put this in there so I'll remember what it was for. Okay. I'm going to give this to my niece. I've been trying to encourage them to start journaling because they're at that age. Um, this one niece is turning 13 next month. Is she turning? Yeah, it's hard to believe she's turning 13. And so, um, oh, good. It came with stickers. And I think she knows this character. So, yeah, I'm going to tell her to try and um, try to encourage her to start journaling. And it's just got really cute designs. She could still use it for school, too, to, like, put, I don't know, for projects and stuff. Um, she might. I know she'll like the, uh, the character. Now, the last two things that I got were books. So I have here Shiatsu, The Complete Guide. So... I am probably about, uh, I was probably about maybe 200 hours away from getting my massage therapy sort of uh, license. I didn't complete it. I know. And that was, a uh, more than 20 years ago. So, um, but I still remember how to do all the techniques, but this I wanted because even though we did learn some shiatsu techniques, we didn't really get too like in depth in it. And so I kind of wanted to use this as a refresher, especially the stretching part. That's always helpful. And I'm always getting my siblings asking me to help them, um, like get a, work a knot out on their back or something like that. And half the time it's because they're just not really stretching. So this would really help, you know, in terms of me trying to show them how to stretch. So, yeah. So I got this book. And then the other book... Ugh, it's pretty heavy, too. It's a big um, hardcover. So this one was interesting. It's free freestyle, maximize sports and life performance with four basic movements. Now, this one is showing just different techniques in terms of, like, I guess, like, 
it could be also for like workouts, you know, where you're not using anything like weights or anything like that. Well, yeah, here we go. This one is using like a dumbbell. But this would help, especially if I do the workouts like at home instead of, you know, at the gym, even though <laughs> I'm right now I'm currently dressed for the gym because after I film this, I'm going to the gym. Um, but, you know, like on those days where it's like storming and I just don't want to drive in that weather. Yeah. So that's kind of the reason why I got it. Just because it's in print doesn't mean it's the gospel. Michael Jackson. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's not bad for a dollar. It's huge, though. It's a good coffee table book. All right. So that is all that I got for $1 day at store number one and two. So I will be back again on Thursday for the dollar day at store number three. All right. Well, I forgot something. I knew there was something missing from store number one's haul. Okay. So this fell out of the bag when I was putting it away. Now this, I was like, this is kind of weird. Maxi girl role play. And I was like, there's nothing really on here to indicate what it was. So I did a Google image search and it's kind of surprised because it pulled up on Amazon, but it wouldn't even specify what it was. And it said that it was sold out or it was not, they just didn't have any in stock. So, but I really wanted to know what it was. Cause the only one that I saw, if I'd seen more of this, I would have gone ahead and gotten them because they were just $1. This was, uh, okay. So this, these are contacts. <laughs> I don't even know what the size is. Now I'd have to wear them with glasses because I have prescription contacts. Um, I'm gonna have to look and see what the diameter is on my contacts to see if these are going to fit. It's like it's really stuck there. There we go. So, I mean, I'm just curious. I used to wear colored contacts back in the 90s, um, and they were gray. This one is like, this is interesting because it has the dark rim, um, dark ring around the edge, and it looks like it's supposed to be like a little blue. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get in closer. There we go. How many are in here? I guess it's only a pair. Yeah. Now I would wear colored contacts again, if I was able to find a really nice gray set of gray. Um, but I have to wear, um, multifocal. Yeah. And those are pretty pricey. I don't even know if you can get those in colored contacts at all. I mean, I'm getting old, you know? So, um, and I typically would go with like, kind of like a bluish gray because I am a much darker complexion and that tends to stick out more than if I were to wear like a green or an actual blue. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try these just out of curiosity. Huh. But that was just kind of interesting. I've never, I, well, I probably just never really paid attention, but now I'm going to be on the lookout for these. Um, I'm going to look it up though, as far as like the company, see if there's any reviews on this particular brand, um, before I try them out, you know, but yeah, like I said, I'd have to wear them with glasses, but I thought that was kind of neat that I found color contacts at the, at the bin store. All right. All right. So today is Wednesday. I don't typically, uh, go to the bin stores on a Wednesday. But today I made an exception because sadly, bin store number three is going out of business and their last day is tomorrow. Um, now, apparently it's kind of hard to be in that type of business because especially when, with, when you have other stores in the same area that are doing the same thing and as far as like they're purchasing these pallets and then, you know, same concept, selling the stuff. Um, apparently the three stores that are in my hometown 
we're all they all use the same vendor and they're all competing for these pallets and the prices apparently of the pallets have gone up so this one bin store number three is the smallest out of the three the store and it's a family owned store they don't have like other locations like these other two stores do and so consequently in the last i believe in the last six months or so um they've been losing money being in this business because they're having a hard time um, getting the pallets and then getting good quality stuff. Um, a lot of people have said um, that they haven't been getting as good merchandise as they had in the last two years. I will say that that's true for all three of the stores. Um, when I started shopping at these stores, they used to have really, really good stuff. But then again, there weren't as many people shopping at these stores. And in the last year, there's so many people now that shop at these stores. And because of that, I think the, um, the vendors that are selling these pallets, they've increased the prices because they only um, increased uh, the prices at the stores by $1. It used to be $7 on Friday and then goes down six, you know, four, three, two, one or 50 cents. And, um, but then they increased it by $1. So it was $8, $6, um, $4, is it five, is it $5 now? And then four, three, no, $4, $3, $2 and $1 and 50 cents. So, uh, I've noticed the quality of the stuff has kind of gone down. Like they're not really getting like really, really good stuff, you know, especially like higher ticket items that they used to get. So, like I said, um, store number three is going out of business. So I went, actually, I did go yesterday after, um, in the, before I went to the gym, but I didn't film, you know, when I got home, I wanted to go ahead and include it with this. So I'm going to show you, this is what I got for $3. Um, so I know it's like, why did I buy another one of these when I have, I tested this out. This is a wireless uh, microphone for your phone. The quality of these were better than the ones that I um, had, right? And I didn't want to pass it up because it's three dollars, and you know, um, I mean, if I'm able to use this with my freaking cameras, I will. I just don't. I haven't looked to see if there's like a USB slot, but um, this is the receiver, and you would just stick this where you charge your battery. Okay, this one you won't have to like charge yourself, but then you've got like the microphones right here. Actually, let me turn it. And um, yeah, like I said, the quality was really good. So if I ever wanted to like film a video on my phone, this is what I would use um, to get better sound quality. I mean, the microphones on our phones are actually pretty good already. But you know, if you're in an area where there's a lot of noise, these would work really, really well. So I picked that up. And then this one right here, I had a feeling when I saw it that this had to be something K-pop related. So I, when I got to the, the table and opened it, sure enough, it was. I've never heard of this band because, like I said, I don't know K-pop. But my niece, my nieces are so into them, um, so into the group. So I don't know if she knows this band, but shit, I'm pretty sure she'll like it because it came with a lot. It came with this book, came with a poster, came with this. Don't know. Um, and then these little cards, okay, came with this, that's the name of the band, um, where is it now, Enfin, I think that's the name of the band, um, lyric book, is it in English, yeah, I was gonna say, because if it's in, well, that's in Korean, so it's not gonna matter, came with the actual CD, so, they have a CD player so they can listen to it. I'll probably have to rip it for them so they can put it on their phones. Came with a poster, came with an, some additional um, photos, and then some uh, stickers. So I looked it up on Amazon. It's gone for $22. So I hope she likes it. <laughs> so I got that. Those two were for $3. And then today I went, I actually got there 20 minutes early and there was already a line of people outside. And then we were all laughing because it's like, there's never a line on $2 day outside of the um, store. But because this is the second to last day, um, everybody was there because I don't think they have anything left 
in the back for them to fill up uh, the bins. They said that their warehouse is empty since they stopped buying pallets weeks ago. You know, they were just selling what they had left. So fortunately, I was able to find more of these loops. Uh, man, if I'd known, if I'd known that they were going to be putting these out um, on Tuesday, I would have been there because she apparently, uh, one of the workers had put out a ton of them. And then by the time I got there, there was one left, it, but it was an empty box. I was so pissed. Somebody basically took it out of the box. And I showed it to the workers because I was asking if there were any more for, you know, for Wednesday. And she said, oh, I put out a whole bunch earlier. And she's like, you should check. I'm like, no, I went through every bin and this is the only one I found and it was empty. So when I got there, um, that same worker gave me this one because she had, um, she had remembered that I was looking for them. So fortunately, um, yeah, she had this by the time I got up to the cashier, um, she gave it to me to purchase. And I was really happy. And I did ask her, you have anything else left, you know, to put out for tomorrow for $1 a day? And she said, no, everything that's out, that's all, that's it. So I got this one in white. This one was kind of strange at first. I wasn't sure if it was a loop, but cause it was in a bag, but I opened up the bag and it is, but apparently this is for kids. But when I looked at it, cause it was open on the side, um, it's like the same size as the adults. So I don't know. That's just strange. Um, I found this one. I've never seen this color before. Soul Bordeaux. And then I have these two right here that I'm going to sell. And I got it in Swinging Silver, which I've sold before. Midnight Black. I think I've also sold those before. So I was able to find five. Uh, I really hope that the other stores will be able to sell these because these are the only things that I sell online that I'm successful at selling online. So I found this, um, I was curious cause it was eyewear and it came in a nice box and they're readers. And then the funny thing is that they are the, um, what do you call it? They are the mag, not magnitude. <laughs> They're the, um, exactly what I wear, which is 1.5. I can't even think. Um, and there are three of them in here. It's like, I don't need any more, but you know, I'm going to leave one here at the table. So whenever I need readers, I don't have to get up and go and get one for my desk. Um, but these look like, I don't know if they're the same um, design. They look a little different. This one looks smaller than the other ones. And then this looks a little bit more square, but that's okay. I mean, they also came with the, um, the bags. I'm not sure if there was supposed to be two, three in there because there's only two bags. I didn't see three bags unless somebody just stuck one in there, but fortunately it's also 1.5. So yeah, I've got plenty of readers. In fact, I'm going to leave this one here at the desk. I need to clean the lenses though, because they are very dirty and that's annoying. So we got that. Um, you're going to say, why did you buy that? Got plenty. Well, I just gave away two to my nieces and I'm pretty sure my nephew's going to need one for his phone. I, I didn't even think to give him one. He wasn't here when I gave it these um, chargers to them, but uh, these are PD fast wall chargers. So they're 20 watt, I think. Yeah. And I like that they come in different colors. My two favorite colors, green and purple. I may not give this to them, but I will give this to my brother-in-law and my niece because they both have iPhones and these are iPhone. So we did, I did pick that up. That was $2. Throw that bag away. What else did I get? Oh, okay. Hold on. Make sure that there's Oh, I didn't know that I bought that. What? Okay. I didn't realize that I bought that. Okay. So I have this control clay is what it says. Forte. I don't know if this is from men, but women can use it too. Especially if you have like pixie hair. I did open it up just to check. And I look, I haven't looked it up on Amazon yet, so I don't know how much this goes for. 
I've used pomade in my hair before, but I don't think I've ever used like clay. Somebody must have tried this and yeah, like I guess didn't like it. So, and then just returned it, but that's okay. I will um, disinfect my hands. It's going in my hair anyhow. <laughs> so I'm going to try it just to see. I typically don't use a, um, like a clay or a pomade. I use like a cream um, for styling my hair. And then the last thing that I have here is an eyeshadow stick. Huh. So this is 24 hour no transfer. Kiko is the name. Oh, and if you see this on my, um, this is from like an eyebrow pencil that I had found over there and I was testing it out, but it was actually too light for my, um, my eyebrow hair. So I put it back, but then it's like waterproof. I definitely need to find that one because that's pretty good. Maybe, um, Hmm. It'll hold up with my oily skin, but this is not bad. It's really like more for highlighting. You know, so I guess I will try that. And I think that's it for today for $2 day. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back tomorrow because it's the last day and I already saw everything that they have in the bin, but I don't know. We'll see. There were some couple of things that I did not pick up only because I just didn't want to pay $2 for it. Um, cause I knew if I left this stuff here, um, it would not be there <laughs> on $1 a day. So, oh, wow. Look at that. I'm rubbing it and it's not coming off that easily, but anyhow, um, yeah, if I do go tomorrow, then I will go ahead and film the video. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay. Today is Thursday, $1 day at store number three. It's their last day of business, unfortunately. I did go. Um, they had posted on their Facebook page um, that, well, what it looked like was that they had gone ahead and put stuff in the bins. But turns out when I got there um, this morning at 9 o'clock, no, they didn't. Because I heard a lot of other people, regulars that go to that were complaining that they just kind of made it look like they filled the bins, but they didn't. And I kind of knew this because I spoke to one of the, um, the employees and they said that they had already put out, you know, everything that they had, um, and that there wasn't going to be a fill for Thursday. So, um, there wasn't really much, there were so many people. So I only grabbed three things. The first thing I found was this, it's called PCA skin. Um, that's the brand and it's a hydrating toner. Now it is. I think this is a travel size because I looked it up on Amazon, like the, it goes for like maybe $12, it's um, unused, unopened. So, but it's got really, really good reviews. So I think this would be perfect to use in the winter, especially if I'm going to be traveling in the winter. So I'm probably going to go ahead and put this in my um, travel bag or like my toiletry bag to use, um, you know, especially on the plane when, uh, because the air is so dry to kind of help because uh, one thing that I do notice sometimes in the winter, because I have combination oily skin is that my skin sometimes will try to overcompensate because of the dryness and produce more oil. But as I get older, um, actually I do get kind of dry <laughs> more in the winter than I do in the summer. The summer is really when I, I mean, my face is like, you know, like an oil field. It's just so slick and oily. But yeah, this will work probably really well for the winter. So I found that. Um, that uh, hair clay that I found yesterday, turns out that's for men. But, you know, I I'm going to still try it anyways. It doesn't smell overly masculine, you know. Um, so I'll just try it because I only need just a little bit just to texturize my hair. So we'll see. But I found another one. Um, this is hair clay, but this one is a medium hold. And, um, the only thing I liked about it was that it's, um, actually made with, uh, what was it called again? Cause I looked it up on Amazon. It's, um, it's some type of clay again. Hold on here. Where is it? Craft hair clay. Here we go. This goes for $20. Um, it's been used. It looked like some, some dude probably took one swipe 
tried it and didn't like it, as you can see. But it's really, really thick consistency. Um, that was the only thing I didn't like when I tried it. The great thing is it's unscented. So um, let's see here. It's got, well, I want to say Amazonian clay. I don't think that's right. Uh, here we go. Hair clay. Where is it? Because it mentioned what kind of clay it was. Oh, here it is. Kale. Kale, oh, kaolinite clay. That's the key ingredient. And I know that's actually good for your skin because we do have facial um, like masks that contain that, especially if you're oily. So, um, so yeah, I'll try this. If not, like I said, I will give it to my brother or my um, one of my nephews and see if they like it. But like I said, it's like really, really um, thick. So, very, very little of it is going to be needed. So the last thing that I found, and I'd already purchased one roll, but they had this on the table uh, by their register. And I thought, well, why not? So I found this roll of receipt tape. This whole roll was just a dollar. They had a box originally that could have sold for a whole dollar, but they took, you know, they took these out of the box and just put it up there. Um, See, I've already got this one right here, which I had purchased for a dollar before. Uh, these I'm going to do collage strips. Um, and so, you know, I'm going to see if I can get my nieces in on crafting and I'm going to challenge them to do their own version. So I'm going to give them each a roll and see if they, you know, if they can do it as well. So that's why I, had, I went ahead and picked this up. So I've got six rolls now. So, yeah. That is it um, for the week. I'm only going to have two stores starting next week to go to, but I don't know if I'll be um, going to them because I've got some things going on next week that um, I won't be able to go on $1 a day. And if I'm not able to go on $1 a day, it's almost pointless because everything that's good will be gone if I go like, you know, on 50 cent day and stuff. So yeah. I mean, I'll still keep this series going, you know, when I do go, but I just might not have a video for next week. All right. So I hope you guys have had a great week and a great day. Okay. Bye-bye.